We've all been there. The long, frustrating search to bring some excitement to the humble, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Well, look no further. We're gonna be bringing some big flavor with a simple twist on this dinner time staple. I'm Chef Jim, and you're watching Aprons Cooking School Online. Okay, let's get started with our chicken scallopini with capers, olives, and garlic butter sauce. A couple things I've got going here. I got my pan heating up on the stove, getting nice and hot. And we're gonna start with a little prep. We're gonna be using some shallots in this dish. And uh, I'm gonna peel and dice the shallot. I'm gonna cut the root and the stem end off of the shallot. And then I'm gonna cut it in half right down through the center. Then we can go ahead and peel it. So we're just wanting to get the outer layer of peel off of this. First, I'm going to start with a little horizontal cut through the center of the shallot, and then a couple of vertical cuts across, but leaving the shallot intact in one piece. Then I can come across at a 90 degree angle, and we get a beautiful chopped shallot. Once we have that done, I'm going to transfer that to a little bowl, set it aside, because we're going to use this a little later when we're making our sauce. We're going to be juicing a lemon as well, so I'm going to Give that a little bit of a roll on the board, and what this does is it breaks apart the membrane inside the lemon, and it allows more of the juice to come out into the sauce. So this is a nice, fresh lemon. I'm going to cut that in half and set that aside. So here's our lovely boneless, skinless chicken breast. And what we're going to do, we're going to be making scallopinis with this, so we're going to be cutting it into small medallions and pounding it nice and thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to cut the chicken breast in half to begin, like so and then cut those halves into two pieces each. So we've got quarters from the chicken breast. Once we've got our chicken cut, we'll set that aside for just a minute and we'll get a little plastic wrap and we're gonna pound this thin. So to make our scallopini, we're gonna take each piece, spread them apart on the plastic wrap so they have a little room to pound out. and then cover them with plastic. So we've got plastic underneath and we've got plastic on top. I'm going to take my meat hammer and I'm going to start in the center of the cutlet and kind of work my way out as I pound down. And what this does is it helps give us a nice even thickness. And as I'm pounding I'm kind of going out towards the edge of the chicken. Okay, so once I have them pounded out to a nice even thickness, we're gonna remove them to our sheet pan here. Okay, so once we have our chicken pounded, we're gonna season it. So I've got a little salt and pepper here. We've got some kosher salt, which I like to use for cooking. It's got a nice, large, thin crystal, and it works well for sprinkling. And a little fresh ground black pepper. And again, I like to usually hold it about eight to 10 inches above the surface when I'm sprinkling it and allows it to fall evenly on the chicken. Always season both sides when you're cooking. It's gonna make it taste better at the end. All right, so we're ready to cook. So we've got our hot pan, we've got our chicken that's nice and pounded and seasoned, and we're gonna add a little olive oil to our pan. We're gonna take our chicken and lay it down around the perimeter of the pan. When I'm laying the chicken down into the pan, I like to lay it down away from myself so that if I get any oil splattering, it won't tend to come towards me. And we're gonna go about two to three minutes on each side for this. When it starts to get about halfway done, we'll go ahead and flip them on over. I can see they're starting to get opaque around the edges. Starting to smell really good too. Isn't that beautiful? Look, it just comes right up off the pan like that. And we're gonna turn them over and let them go for a couple more minutes on the other side. We wanna cook it almost all the way through, but not quite. So this is about three quarters of the way done. So I'm gonna remove it from the pan to a separate dish. So I'm going to squeeze our fresh lemon before we start. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our shallot that we chopped earlier and we're going to add that into the pan with a little bit of chopped garlic. And we're going to give that a stir. See we got a lot of nice heat still going in that pan. After we start to get some caramelization there, a little browning on the shallots and the garlic. Then we're gonna deglaze with a little white wine and lemon juice.
You see we've got a lot of nice color going here. And we're going to bring this up to a boil and we're going to reduce it by half. So our sauce is reduced by half so we can finish building our uh, sauce here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our ingredients. We have some wonderful capers. We have some Kalamata olives that we've cut in half and some fresh Italian flat leaf parsley. So we've got some wonderful, fresh, vibrant Mediterranean flavors that we're introducing into our sauce. At this point, we can add our chicken back into the pan. This is a classic French technique called Monter au beurre, or mount with butter. And we're going to finish this sauce with some wonderful, creamy butter. This is going to do a few things. This is going to add texture and sheen to our sauce, and it's going to give it that wonderful, creamy butter taste. This dish is practically done. The only thing that I'm going to do after we get our butter melted in there, so I'm going to, I'm going to test one more time for seasoning. I'm going to take a little bit of sauce here out of the pan. Mm. Wow, that is really good. It already has a good amount of saltiness to it. I think you could still use just a bit more. So we'll add just a touch of kosher salt and a little bit of black pepper. Other than that, I think this stuff is right on. We'll get our nice serving plate here. And we'll take our wonderful chicken scallopini and then top them with this wonderful, luscious white wine lemon butter sauce. Look at that, how nice and creamy and delicious looking that is. Wow. That is one nice looking dish. All right. Okay, let's taste this and see how it came out. Let's see here. Oh, we have a wonderful, nice tender piece of chicken there. It looks like it's just cooked all the way through, not overcooked at all. Mmm. That is delicious. Wow, what a great balance. Wonderful flavor from the lemon, the capers, and the olives. That creamy sauce is just delicious. Boy, oh boy. If you love this dish and you want to make it at home, click the link in the description to download the full recipe. And in a second, check out our other Aprons Cooking School online videos and subscribe to find even more great content from Publix. Thanks for watching.